do, do you think if there was dogs in there instead, you'd feel differently? No. What about if they were going to slaughter? I know these animals are not going to slaughter today, but would you, would you object if... Dogs go to slaughter. Yeah, but what if they did? Would that be okay? Is it moral to kill dogs or only... Well, what only... do you do with a dog when you killed it? Well, you don't eat it. You no. Eat. Yeah, but, yeah, but morally, what's the difference? Is there a difference? Well, there must be. Well, what's the difference? Well, then? if you dig an hole and chuck a dead dog in it, yeah. you ain't going to chuck one of these in there. No, but I'm saying morally, what's the difference between taking the life of a dog and taking the life of a cow for food? Because in China, they eat dogs, don't they? And morally, is that is that different or is it the same? Well, if they want to eat dog, I wouldn't want to eat it. No, why wouldn't you want to eat it? Oh, your pack, it's packed, yeah, they're lovely they're animals. They, yeah. they, 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 they love us, right? Yeah. But don't you think these animals can show love and affection too? I'm a farmer, I know how farming works. Oh yeah, and I don't doubt that for a second, but I'm saying how do we morally justify it if it's unnecessary? Like, these animals don't want to die, and killing them is an act of a, a, a unnecessary cruelty in that sense, isn't it? You know? Yeah. So how do you morally justify that? Oh, you got your point, and I've got mine. What about the animals? What's their preference is to live, right? So how, who are we to deny them that? I ain't got an argument for that. Yeah, I mean, like, what, like, as a human being, like, as a species and also as an individual, what right do you have to take the life of a living being that doesn't want to die? Just think about it, because if we can't morally justify it, we have to question whether or not we should be doing it. And I hadn't what... thought about it. I've been a farmer for 50 years. Yeah, I know I'm farming. Right? Yeah, I don't doubt that for a second. And I don't doubt for, I don't, you know, I, and I, this is the thing, right? I don't think that all farmers are bad people. The bad farmers, of course, we can both agree on that, but we're there not. There are bad farmers. There are, but yeah. we're not, we, we, I don't believe that tainting you all the same brush is productive. All I believe is that in a world where we don't have to do these things to animals, it becomes an immoral act to do because it's unnecessary. Because they, they feel, don't they? And they feel pain. Of course they do, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. why is our right to inflict suffering and, and ultimately death on them if they don't want to feel that? I know, but one of your lot, a woman here somewhere, was telling me yeah. that it's wrong to take the calves off the cow. Well, yeah. In, in dairy or beef? No, either. In, in either way. If you yeah. take them off the dairy, you take them off within a week. Yeah, not within 72 cow, hours, right? The beef cattle yeah. have got their calves, yeah. and you have to take them off because yeah. the cow's in calf again. Even, let's put aside that kind of the child thing, even if even if it was the, the, the opportunity they got to live with their children the whole life, or whatever, they still die in the end, don't they? So I don't, I, I don't. To me, I don't really. That's not really the argument. It's just the fact that we that we use them and kill them in, in, in any in any way. Well, there ain't. I ain't got an argument against you for that. So if you haven't got an argument against that, how 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 do you justify continuing to do it? Just because it's something you've always done. It's all you know. That is all I know. Yeah. It's all you know. All I've ever done. It's all you've ever done. Right? And I appreciate the fact that because it's all you've ever known, like the prospect of people telling you that what you've done your whole life is wrong is, is not very nice, is it? No. No, it's unpleasant because you don't want to think that what you've done your whole life could necessarily be deemed as immoral. Of course not, but... Well... I can't quite see where, I can't see where you're going. I'm just saying like... You know, if, if you're not going to kill anything, yeah. what are they going to do? Just get old and die then? But we won't breed them, will we? So the, the reason we have so many animals in existence, or at least these animals, the livestock animals, is because we breed them. If we weren't eating them, the farmers wouldn't breed them, right? So we wouldn't, they wouldn't, wouldn't need to be here, so that we wouldn't have the issue of letting them live old and die. But just like us, all they want to do is live, and they should be given that chance to, and, and live the life they want to live, you know? Like you and I want freedom and liberty and basic fundamental rights. Yeah. These animals may be not as intelligent as us, or maybe not to speak our language, but inherently they still want the same. If you and I were walking down the street and we saw a man abusing a pig, we'd, we'd join together and stop them. That's right. But yeah. the thing is, it happens in slaughterhouses all the time. Wow. And it happens in farms, and these animals are, you know, they're mutilated and they're killed, and they have, they're put in gas chambers or have knives across their throat, and they suffer, you know? They'll let people oh, oh, hey, You're all right. Yeah. <laughs> Go on. Good morning. We're all ready to listen to your argument. Yeah. Morally, sir, what's the difference between killing like a dog, a pig, or a. But, but just morally, what's the difference between like. Obviously, you love your dog, and rightfully yeah, so. Because this dog. 
I, there is no moral difference between yeah. this dog and that dog. But yeah, yeah. I've got to pay to keep this dog. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. got to pay to keep those animals. Yeah. I can't pay to keep those animals unless I sell them. Sell some. Yeah, but they can't live without us. That's what you people don't understand. But they, they shouldn't be here in the first place. The nonsense about not shearing sheep the other day. Yeah, but they, yeah, the reason we shear sheep is because they've been selectively bred to produce more wool than they would naturally. Okay, naturally in the wild, their, their, their wool would fall off. Naturally in the wild, they die. These cows will die if I don't look after them. Well, how did, how did these animals you, survive they, naturally in the wild for thousands of years? Tell me, are you prepared to get up at two o'clock in the morning and go outside to save a lamb that died from pneumonia? I would. For nothing? I would, yeah. Care, I would. Mate, yeah, I, 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 I come here to but come and see these animals. You. You because don't, I don't because I don't live in an area where I could, but if I knew that there was a lamb dying, I'd get up at two in the morning and come and save yeah, them but ultimately. Are you gonna do that every day? Do you I, may I save some them in the morning? Life, they're getting some life. Yeah, but then they die. What 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 life is that? Would you say would you say the same for your dog? Like if I rescued a dog from a, a shelter and then cut their throat, would it be alright because I'd rescued them in the first place? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You know I, I mean I'm I, I I spent my life looking after animals, you people don't. So don't I, spend my, I, spend, I, I, I spend my life trying to stop animals from being killed. No, you don't. You send them to slaughter, man. You don't, you don't. You may look after them now, but they ultimately, you sell them to be killed. You don't spend your life. You don't get up at two o'clock in the morning. Mate, I don't eat the animals, which means they don't die in the yeah. first place. You're the one sending them to slaughter. You don't. You don't spend your life looking after animals, so don't bring them. You, you don't look after them. You, you, you use them until they're profitable for you, and then you sell them to be killed. No, that's not how it works. But right. you're making money off them. You sell that's them to make money. Works. So how does it work? Tell me. You love these animals, and then what? You love I them when... I love these animals, so, and when they go, they go. And so you love animals, but you sell them but to be killed? I, how do you love them? If you love your dog, man, but you wouldn't send your dog to be person, killed. Because I don't even own a shotgun. I don't go shooting. I don't good, like killing animals. But, but, you, but you sell them to be killed. Okay, so what we do, right? Best solution, your solution, is I stop killing animals. Stop, so I stop, stop being them. a farmer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we just kill the lot because they can't live without me. No, but it's a gradual process. What happens is the world changes, and um, let's say vegan, more people go vegan. Less and less animals be bred because the only reason they're bred is because they're profitable. Nigel, Nigel. Hey, 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 hey! No need for that. There's no need for that, though. There's no need for that. We're having a conversation. Nigel. As the number of say vegans rise, the number of animals being bred goes, and so we won't have a point where we have to kill them. I'm sorry, mate. I'm not trying to be nasty. And I agree. See, I'm I agree. not awkward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to. I don't believe in your lifestyle. You don't believe in mine. So we'll just leave each other. But alone. can we believe that these animals feel pain and have a preference to live their life? The reality, at the end of the day, is they get killed for an unnecessary reason. Yeah, yeah at least they how, get some how, life. But how do we morally justify killing them? It's unnecessary. I don't know what you want me to do to try and make no. you move away. No, I don't no, want no. To argue I, with you. Yeah, that's fine. And I don't, I, I don't think you're a bad person. All I just think is that um, yeah. there was a necessity for us to eat meat that doesn't exist anymore. Well, there is for me because I like eating meat. But the enjoyment of it doesn't make it moral. Like people enjoy betting on dog fighting and all sorts. That doesn't make it moral, though, does no, it? it? Doesn't say. Exactly. So just sen we, need, we require more than sensory pleasure to morally justify something. You've got your philosophy on life, and I've got mine. My philosophy is these animals want to live. Okay. I'm What's not your the philosophy? one that's standing at your door harassing me to death, harassing me. I'm not harassing you, man. You're, you're the ones, you're the ones sending these animals to be killed. I'm going about my lawful business. Yeah, I'm going about my lawful business too. I'm not saying you aren't. Yeah, 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 yeah. To me. Yeah, I'm yeah. saying, please leave it. I don't want to talk to you. Please leave these animals and no, not, don't kill them. They're my animals, not yours. They don't belong to anyone. They do, they belong they to don't, me. They're living beings. Like we, You and I don't belong to anyone, they don't They've belong to anyone. They've cost me a fortune to raise. Don't belong they to you. Belong to they me. don't belong they to do. you. You don't have ownership over a life. I do. You can't own a life. I do. I that, own those lives. Can you? Yeah. What's the difference between owning these lives and owning the lives of other humans? Because I'm not paying. I don't own your life, I'm not paying to keep you. So if I paid to keep someone, I'm that, sorry, that I'm would make them. Hello, you're lucky, aren't you? Hey? Hey? You're lucky, aren't you? You don't know how lucky you are. No? You don't know how lucky you are. You have a nice life, don't you? Hello. 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 The way I see it is morally, do you think there's a difference between, say, killing and eating a, a dog, a cow, a cow, a pig, or is it all morally the same? Yeah, morally the same. Morally the same. same. Would you eat a dog or, or a cow or anything? No. No. I'm not Korean. But do you think that, yeah, I mean, so it's kind of a cultural thing, right? Yeah. But should culture dictate our morality or, or not? I don't know, and I probably mm. wouldn't say that. And I believe that all life has an inherent value. That means that it should be treated with respect, yeah. dignity and compassion. I agree with that. Yeah. 
But when we, when, we, when we take these animals to be killed for an unnecessary reason, we deny them that respect, compassion and dignity, don't we? No. No? Can we respect someone if we, we kill them unnecessarily? It's not unnecessary. If you're, if you're um, farming them for food, yep. you've got to go back to say, well, they wouldn't be there at all if we weren't doing that. Yeah, but, so uh, we've given uh, them a couple of years. But this is no life for an animal. This is no life for an animal. Oh, no. This is no life for an animal. Look, they, they can't, they're not grateful for this. Do you know what I mean? These animals aren't grateful if they're going to have a knife pulled across their throat. Well, yeah, I mean, look, this is not natural for them. Look at them. They're quite clearly stressed. I mean, they don't want to be here, do they? But they don't want to be here. This dumb look. Yeah? But those cattle are not happy. But what about when they're taken to a slaughterhouse and a knife pulled across their throat? They do know. They do know. They know. I've seen these animals go into slaughter. They're stunned before they... It doesn't always work though, does it? But even, even up to that, when they're put in that stun box and they're in that stun box, they're frightened. They're suffering. You can't deny that. If you and I were shepherded into or herded into a place, even if we were stunned before we were killed, that would still would be cruel. Maybe. Yeah. You can say that moving them into a market and selling them yeah. and moving them somewhere else. But it's, it's commodification, isn't it, at the end of the day? Cruel. But it's no more cruel than sending your kids to school when they don't want to go. Come on. Uh, no. But, but, but we get, these kids go to school for an education to live a good life where they can earn a good career and do something yes, they love to do. They do something these, that's worthwhile. No, they don't. It's not, they but, would not exist otherwise. But this is not worthwhile for them. They, 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 they have a knife pull across their throat. This isn't worthwhile for them. The, the thing is, how do we morally justify taking the life of an animal that doesn't want to die for an unnecessary reason? You say it's unnecessary. But we, because we can survive without it, it's unnecessary. Like we can survive without dog meat, we can survive without cat meat, so killing those animals is unnecessary. The fact is because we don't need to eat the flesh of a cow or, or the secretions of a cow or any animal, it becomes unnecessary.